my name is Mary Jo Turnbull and I'm here at Silver Buckle Ranch in Brush Prairie, Washington. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the do's and don'ts uh, um, for young people and horses. One of the very, very basic things that I like to communicate with everyone is that kids love horses and that means horses are magnets. So if your neighbor has a horse and they're always running over and um, touching him through the fence or trying to crawl through, that's really, really unsafe. So you're going to want to either supervise those kids or talk to the property owner and, and the horse owner and get to spend some time with them. The safest way ever to get your kids involved in horses, of course, is to go to a professional facility where they're set up to safely teach all the correct information to your young children. Another don't is not to run out and buy your child a horse just right off the bat when they get excited and interested in horses. This is a huge mistake that a lot of um, beginner horse families make. Again, you want to find some professional help. Find out if your child is truly serious about having a horse because they are a very expensive investment. And then with the help and advice of a professional trainer or instructor, they can take you out and help you find a horse that's perfect for your child and your family. Another don't would also be when we're out looking for tack and for a saddle for our child. We always want to keep in mind that not all saddles fit all horses. So if I was going to buy my child a horse, I would buy the horse first and then I would go out and look for the saddle that fits the child and the horse. Another huge mistake that first horse owners make is going out and buying a saddle because they found it as at a really good buy at a garage sale or another place like that but then they buy the horse later and find out the saddle doesn't fit the horse and so you've spent money that you don't need to. In considering horse ownership or getting your children and your family involved in horsemanship there are a lot of do's and don'ts. So my best advice to you would be to find professional help in a trainer or an instructor at a local professional facility close to you.